natin talaga ng katulong, literal. And still, we're not feeling well, pero, ayun, safety lang muna. Kaya medyo, may pamas tayo ngayon na props. Hindi, <laughs> pero totoo lang, ano, medyo, ano, hindi maganda ang ating uh, pakiramdam. Pero sobrang na-excite talaga ako dito sa pa-crate nila, eh. As in talaga, naka-crate pa talaga, all the way from Asus headquarters and Intel daw. Okay, so tingnan natin. Ayan. Masa yung toolbox natin? Ayan. <coughs> Hindi ko na papatagalin. Sobrang excited ko na. Kaya, ano, wala nang masyadong salita. Let's do this. And for more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan, check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Alright, so ayun niya, sobrang excited na natin. Kahit na medyo hindi pa maganda yung pakiramdam natin. Deadline na kasi. Actually, sa totoo lang, dapat ito is nung kwan pa. Uh, nung isang araw, 12 midnight. Sabay-sabay sana sa mga international na ano. Pero ang nangyari, itong crate natin gumala pa. Ewan ko kung saan pumunta. Pumunta pa yata ng ano. Basta yun, may tumaas, may bumaba. Until dumating sa atin. And eto siya ngayon. And uh, eto. Join me. Fresh the fresh yung feeling, <laughs> yung emotions natin kasi first time ko rin makikita at first time ko rin mahahawakan ang Intel 12th Gen at the same time Z-Series, Z690 motherboards from Asus. So, ano, kala mo parang ano, parang uh, advertisement deal. Pero sa totoo lang, i-review po natin to. Uh, pag hindi kayo sanay sa pagbubukas ng mga crates, Mas maganda kung may kasama kayo. Tapos dapat, dapat malakas yung one mo eh. Hindi <laughs> 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 na yata. Hindi, <laughs> sige lang. Kaya pa, kaya pa. <laughs> Bigla na akong di nagsalita, no? seryosong seryoso na. Hindi, kaya to, kaya to. Dapat gawin natin to, ayun. Uh, grabe. Sa lahat kasi ng package na pinadala sa akin ni Asus at sa akin ni Intel. Ngayon lang sila nag, ano, pa-create. Ibig sabihin talaga, ano, gusto nilang makarating sa atin tong items ng, ano, nasa matiwasay na kalagayan. Ay. Tapos, sandamakmak na bubble wrap, di ba? Grabe lang, grabe. Ay, Talaga pinahirapan tayo ni Asus. Via LBC. So, talagang pinadala nila sa LBC. Ang pambansang... Ano? O, oh, may pamartilyo pa tayo. Medyo hinihinaan ko kasi glass yung table natin. <laughs> Baka mabasag. Yeah. Para... Ayan. Dahan-dahan. Baka may upi yung processor. Yung tibang paglabas ng processor. Dalawang piraso na yung dumating. Lalo na pinadala niyo pong 12900. Siyempre, hindi pa natin alam kung anong itsura ng 12900K. Mas biglang naging dalawa. Yeah. <sighs> so, wakas. Pagtanggal pala ng crate yun. Alright, so eto na. Titinan na natin. Wow. Ang hirap nang sumimangot na ito. Wow. Dapat matitigan natin ng maayos. 
Nakanda. Lalo ako maduduling doon sa eyeglass eh. Grabe, daming bubble wrap. Yes. Hindi, actually, familiar naman ako sa packaging ng Asus. Na may mga styros or bubble wraps din sa loob. So, sobrang siksik pa rin sa loob. So, okay lang kahit na medyo iniikot-ikot mo siya. Ayun yun yung dahilan kung bakit meron siyang crate. So, ibig sabihin, wala talaga yung ano, certain side. Ayun, sa mga ano, sa mga nasa EDC, everyday carry, parang isa sa mga pinakasulit na pwede nyong uh, uh, yavil. Okay, yung steel ng ano, Ganzo. Sobrang talas. Pero pa nagbubukas ka, pag ganun, diba? Ayun. Sabi nila eh. Para daw, hindi daw tayo. <laughs> Man! <laughs> Fresh from Asus! Wow. Man! Talaga mawawala yung ubot sipon natin pag na nakita natin to. Speechless! Sobrang speechless. Wow. Republic of Gamers from Asus. Yeah, oh. Box within the box and a crate. So hanggang dito na lang. Cut na natin dito. <laughs> Ang laki. Grabe. Wow. Ayun. Yun lang yung laman ng crate. Eto lang. Care package. Grabe. Oh shit. Sorry. So, paano ito buksan? Kahit ako, di ko alam eh, kung paano ito bubuksan. Basta. Hindi, may ganito, may... Hindi, hindi, hindi. Oo. Parang hihilain ko na lang. Ayaw, ayaw kong punitin eh. Ayaw kong punitin. Kung baga, meron siya dito, eh, close-ups mo pa. Meron dito, ipil mo to para matanggal. Pero, alam, alam mo, ito, ito yung mga tinitawag na papel pa lang, ano. Libo na. <laughs> Oo. Yeah, tabi natin yan. Oh, mahirap mabash pag, uh, di ba? I mean, justice sa uh, ganda ng packaging. Para lang, ano. Well, sa akin kasi, ano eh. Wow. Wait. You, you need to see this. Kailangan makita nyo to. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. Ibang ibang angle naman, ibang angle. Yeah. Grabe. Tapos ang laman is etong motherboard. At mainit-init pa. Parang galing kagagaling lang ng panaderia. Newly baked Z690 Rog Maximus Hero Gaming Motherboard. Ay na pag-mix mix up ko na lahat 'yon. <laughs> Oo oh, eh. Hindi eh, walang ganito eh. Actually, nakita ko na eh, di ba yung packaging ni Asus? Uh, ay, ni Astra, eto to. Ganda rin na ito. Dalawa, di ba? Oo, oh, open. Ganda. Makikita. Walang laban. <laughs> Wala na, nakasalpak na. Pero, di ba? This is one of the whole, uh, kumbaga, another level of packaging. Uh, Astra, kumbaga, sila yung isa sa mga... Siyempre, yung mga Maximus series ng, ano, ng ROG ng uh, Asus. Pero, eto. Man. So dope. Tapos, andito yung ano to? Certificate. Certificate of Candidacy. <laughs> wow. Ano nakalagay dito? Card. Follow us. Sipin mo, binigyan tayo ng card tapos yan lang yung laman. Here. Blank. Blank card. Ano to? Date. 11-26-2020 Location Ba oh, Hanapin mo tong longitude at latitude na yan uh, It's ano It's a good move Pagdating sa marketing Wala na Tagal na natin dito Sobrang na amazed natin tayo e, Ano ba to? Dalawang deck? Oh dalawang deck Okay so dalawang deck Yes Yes Wow And here we have here So kumbaga naka-stock siya Dalawang stock. We have here. Oh, oh. Oh, man. 
we have here the Ryujin 2 360 AIO. So, merong Ryujin 2 360 AIO nakasama for with this. So, I don't know if uh, you, if you will have it. Hindi, I think this is the media kit eh. Yung uh, sa engineering sample for us to at least ano uh have a better benchmarks when uh, we do the ano, 12900K i7 and i5 benchmark. Kumbaga, kompleto tayo ng mga tools. Uh, Asus make, uh, made it sure na we have all the components needed to properly ano, test the 12900 or the uh, i7 and the i9 processors. This is a good thing uh, done by, uh, by a brand. Uh, to make sure na walang benchmark na mali or if there will be a benchmark that is uh, not kumbaga hindi maganda yung results at least kumbaga walang sisihan kasi uh, yun yan pero yung chance na magkaroon ng inaccurate results just because uh, mali yung components na ginamit or mali yung uh, AIO na ginamit cooling system na ginamit and uh, yung motherboard yung masisisi mas mali lesson yung chance na ganun. And this is a good move done by ano, by Rog uh, or Asus. Wow. So hindi na natin masyadong ano, kikilatisin tong Ryujin to 360 tatabi muna natin sila. At titingnan natin tong motherboard. Ito talaga tayo excited. Yeah. Wow. Oy, pops, tinan mo to. Kailangan nilang makita to. Ano to na dito? But wait, there's more. <laughs> oh, yeah, <too>. But wait, <laughs> it's a prank. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Ah, siguro yung ito, yung Ryujin to. Wala, na excited na tayo eh. Tinignan na natin kagad yung second stock. Ay yung uh, ano. Meron, meron ba? Pops, tinan natin, baka meron pa. Malay lang natin. Oh, baka may gold dito. Siyempre, ano? Asus is full of surprises eh. Ah, wala na, wala na. Nakadikit na eh. Wala na. Yun na yun. Ryujin to. That's it. So, teka lang. Parang ang hirap naman ibaba. Ipatong taso ito sa, ano? Sa kung saan-saan na lang. Ayan, pasensya na. Sobrang tagal natin mag-unbox. Sobrang natutuwa lang talaga ako. And I want to make, ano? I, I want to treasure each moment kasi it will uh, kumbaga it takes 5 years again to have this kind of experience to have the first motherboard that comes with the first RAM sticks na DDR5 yeah, slot diba? the, la the first time na nagkaroon tayo ng DDR4 motherboards was way back 5 years ago the first time na nagkaroon tayo ng uh, uh, yes very good Intel is uh, like uh, 5 years yes Six years ago, and this is the first time that Intel delivered something that is, I think, ano, kung baga, hindi na tayo, kung baga, talagang magkakaroon tayo ng closer benchmark compared sa AMD at the same time to have the first DDR5 memory. So, these chances uh, may happen again in the next, uh, kung baga, three to five years. Kasi yung mga susunod na ulit is mga refresh na ulit na mga lineups. O kaya, if there is a major upgrade pagdating sa mga motherboards and processors, most likely, di ba, sakala, sakala lang naman nangyayari yun pag meron ulit bagong socket. Like, isa sa mga ano, pinaka, ano, convincing or significant yung upgrade is kadalasan pag meron ulit bagong uh, uh, RAM. So, yeah. Here we are. Let's check this. ROG Maximus Z690 and la 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 what's this ah if you want to ano turn off ah okay nandito na rin yung process wait so ibig sabihin we have a processor in here syempre gagamit tayo ng special knife yung mas maliit na knife ang gamitin natin delikado oh oh Mahaba yung kuko natin kasi nga, para ano, pag sakaling may bubuksan, kaso lang wala naman tayong bubuksan na kailangan gamitin yung kuko eh. So, yung cutter na tayo mamaya. Grabe naman yung kasi yung pagkalagay. 
para nakakatakot tanggalin. Ano pa intense? <laughs> ang packaging talaga ano. Hindi na ako mapagsalita eh, syempre. Ikaw ba naman, nagbubukas ka ng processor tapos ganito lang yung packaging. Pero this is an engineering sample kasi. Kaya pag engineering sample, hindi na talaga nagkakaroon ng tamang packaging. I9, 12900K! Ayaw kong ano, ay, kumbaga, chances na masira ko to, I will try to avoid any chance na masira to. Kasi pag sana pag sana na sira to nako. Pornada yung reviews natin, mamo-move to nang isang buwan. Baka abutin nila nang isang buwan bago tayo ulit magkaroon ng 12900K. Intel 12900K is the sample that we will be using with this rog. Yeah. Oh. Ape. Wala muna magsasalita paps. Meron flash drive from ROG So expect this This is flash drive right? Flash drive to diba? Hmm. Hindi naman to siguro wifi ano no? Hindi hmm. ah Baka may windows ya yeah. <laughs> Windows 11 Oo nga no license na diba? <laughs> And here is Our PCIe card Okay Ah See? Ay, tama, PCIe. PCIe. Okay. Hyper M.2 card. And then, of course, stickers. Okay. Who will not love a lot of stickers? Iba't ibang klase ng sticker. Isang libro ng sticker. <laughs> Hindi naman. Ayan. Kaling. Hindi nawawala. Ayan. Sticker pa lang. Ano? Panalo na. Parang <laughs> Okay, SATA cables, meron tayong apat. Okay, apat na SATA cables, meron din tayong uh, what is this? Okay, RGB cable. Ah, uh, anong tawag ulit dito? Sa mga mahilig uh, magmotor, sa mga pang EDC din to eh, everyday carry. Ka kan kal caliber. <laughs> Kani. Ka Anak ng lahi, nasa dulo ng dila. <laughs> Nalimutan ko. <laughs> Caliber. Car, car bringer. Huh? Nalimutan ko na. Comment na lang. Basta keychain. Basta pag-comment na lang sa baba. Nakalimutan ko na nasa dulo ng dila ko. Pero nakalimutan ko. Uh, ayun. Cables din. Okay. Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. And then, uh, and then uh, ayun yung lock para sa M.2. Okay, I heard that uh, this comes with luck. Okay, so wow. That's it for the ano. Okay, doon na tayo. Okay na yan. Ito yung pinaka-satisfying sa lahat eh. Feeling to feel. Oh, wait lang. Ibahin natin. Yo. Gusti siya pag hindi natin. balik natin. Ganoon tayo mga Pilipino. Pinoy na Pinoy. Balik din natin pagkatapos. Oh, parang pwede kong manalamin dyan. Oo. Okay, let's go deeper. Let's talk about the VRM. Let's talk about the components inside. Once we remove those uh, covers, shrouds, etc. Pero what's... Uh, Uh, umbaga, one thing is for sure Asus didn't only step up pagdating sa packaging as I can see in here makikita natin dito look at the ano, heatsink it's more beefy than before mas beefy na siya and when you look at this heatsink this part there's one thing that I notice try to ano, pakinggan nito this is aluminum see it's now functional unlike before plastic lang yan eh plastic Wait, plastic ba? I think it's not. It's not. Hindi yata plastic. Okay. So, hindi na siya 
if if in case plastic man tong part na to at least most part of the ano the the IO shroud is aluminum so uh gun are the era na mga VRM is something that you should always uh, take into consideration dahil umiinit siya overheating it doesn't deliver kumbaga, enough power this uh, generation of motherboards uh, since 2019 or 2020 medyo nag-iba eh like all of the motherboards na lumabas na sa ating market uh, kumbaga beyond standard na siya kumbaga it's even more powerful than uh, uh, kumbaga sobrang laki na nung allowance for the processor like if that motherboard is worth 10k that is ideal for those Ryzen 5 and Ryzen 7 processors kayang kaya na niya kahit Ryzen 7 kahit nga i Ryzen 9 mo pa yan eh. pero yun niya uh, if we are dealing with a motherboard that is worth 25k in most cases kung may issue man siguro that you will notice when uh, we do the ano, the checking kung bagay check na natin yung components more on the features siguro parang I'm not expecting that uh, or I should uh, have more at a worth 25 uh, at a worth 35k motherboard. So this motherboard is worth 30k plus. Let's check what Asus can offer at a worth 30k plus motherboard. Syempre sisimulan na natin kaagad sa kanyang IO features. Ayan makikita niyo diyan. This is a motherboard ideal for uh, i9, i7, pero mostly i9. Look so, meron na siyang Q-Flash, Clear CMOS, the basics, uh, ano, I.O. ports, uh, single 2.5, uh, LAN port, Wi-Fi 6, okay, 6E, and then uh, Thunderbolt at the same time, ayun. So, it's a good enough ports, I think, meron sana ng display port, pero sa bagay, hindi naman kailangan eh, di ba? It's not needed to have a display port on the I.O. on the built-in. Pero okay na yung HDMI for testing. Yeah, for H... Uh, yeah, tama-tama. So, kung mapapansin ninyo, meron na tayong video card dito, meron na tayong air cooler, at saka meron na tayong SSD. Bakit ko ngayon uh, kinuha itong mga tatlong items? Dahil gusto kong ipakita sa inyo yung mga ano, uh, kumbaga very ano, something that is commonly overlooked, pero uh, it's a must feature that I think uh, most of the motherboards or even other motherboards should consider especially in a uh, uh, yun ya this time yung upgrade path ng tao is parang uh, the other day okay I will upgrade for a better cooler next time I will upgrade for a better video card ganun yung nangyari so uh, this is what I will show to you yung magagandang features niya. one of the common struggle is yung paglalagay ng SSD minsan pag naglalagay ka ng SSD Iipitin mo pa eh. Lalagay natin. Sige. Uh, ilapit mo. Diba? Kung narin, naglagay ka ng SSD. Tapos maglalagay ka ngayon ng tornilyo. Ngayon, pag maglalagay ka ng tornilyo, gaganyan mo pa siya. Tapos minsan, pag hindi pa maganda yung magnet ng uh, screwdriver mo, diba? Minsan matatanggal pa. Ngayon, hindi na tayo mag-struggle pagdating dyan sa bagay na yan. Pagdating sa paglalagay ng M.2. Because, meron siyang, ayan, meron siyang parang latch. So, what you will just do, is okay that's it diba? easy wala nang struggle pagdating sa pag-screw then you may just ano diba lagay mo na lang to pero syempre be sure na pag nilagay mo tanggalin mo tong uh, insula insulation na to tong plastic and then for the video card one of the common struggle din pagdating sa paglalagay ng video card is eto okay Pero ang problema, siyempre, meron kang cooler na malaki. Actually, mas malaki pa dito kung sakali. Kunwari, naka-air cooler ka. Demo lang, for demo purposes lang. Ngayon pa, paano mo ngayon tatanggalin yung latch ng video card, yung lock ng video card, kung mayroong air cooler dyan? Na before mo rin tanggalin yung air cooler, is kailangan mo muna matanggal yung video card para lang ma-access mo yung screw. In most cases, bago natin ilagay yung video card, ilagay muna natin yung CPU cooler. So ngayon, ending na ito, paano ngayon tatanggalin yung video card? Madaling maglagay ng video card, maglalak ka agad, pero dito hindi. Mahirap na. So katulad kanina, ayun, kung makikita nyo sinusundot namin ngayon, yan po yung common struggle, lalong-lalo na kung CPU air cooler. Ngayon, Asus solve that with this. See? Quick release. 
Pipindutin mo na lang siya. Okay. Ang tinan natin kung effect effective. Oh, easy. Ngayon, ipapakita ko ulit sa inyo. Sige. Zoom zoom mo dito, Pops. Kailan makita nila yung paano mag-lock. Oh, di ba? Nag-lock. Ngayon, quick release. Si mga Life changing upgrade done by Asus in there. <laughs> well, um, I don't put a lot of hype with Asus because they are the one who provided us uh, these items. Pero they deserve it. Eh. I will wait for the other motherboards from other brands in the coming days. Hintay natin, and we'll see if these features that we see with Asus. Is the same features that there are new motherboards. Na yun. In the end of the day, it's still about the firmware. It's still about the VRM. And when you look at this, you can see there are heat pipes running across this heat sink at the top, going to the left side. So if you will uh, take it into consideration, you can see that there is a thin ng distribution or dissipation of heat. Uh, if in case this motherboard is overkill, na nga rin eh. and uh, still. Uh, even though ganun yung nung pangyayari that uh, uh, we assume or yes speculate that uh, this VRM of ASOS is uh, kumbaga too much for the 12900K na processor na meron tayo we'll still see uh, when we do the benchmarks across motherboards as you have seen naman in the previous videos meron tayong mga VRM comparison pero medyo hindi ko na masyadong itinuloy in the latter part ng ating mga ano uploads kasi nga nakikita ko na na hindi na ganun ka-significant yung difference. So, kumbaga, it's not anymore worth it to show you comparisons of VRM. Besides, it's not uh, delivering a significant performance gain din naman uh, across those motherboards, especially nung uh, naglabas sila ng mga B550 sa AMD and then uh, followed by the X570. Pero we'll see with Intel. How is it? Uh, kumbaga, paano siya magpa-perform with the Intel side? And sobrang excited natin dahil ito nga, meron din tayo dito the Ryujin It is uh, by Noctua in collaboration with Noctua. Alam naman po natin that Noctua is uh, one of the best brand pagdating sa CPU air. Dapat Noctua pala yung pinakita ko kanina. <laughs> Nakakabit ba? Oh yes, it's uh, the Torret uh, cooler. So this is the Ryujin 2. I have the Ryujin 1. I have encountered the, uh, kumbaga, so, madalas nating na-experience. The reason why uh, they release or uh, this uh, motherboard comes with an, a media kit na Ryujin to is I think because of the bracket dahil nga the socket LGA1700 needs a new bracket para maging compatible ang mga uh, CPU air cooler and that is something that we will see soon okay so it's uh, Asetek yeah the, here is the Asetek uh, design pero this is in collaboration with Noctua okay so yan sobrang excited natin And uh, syempre, hindi lang po yan ang meron tayo. We also have here from G-Skills all the way from uh, the country. Okay, so we have here the DDR5. So DDR5 po yung uh, motherboard na meron tayo. And we have here the DDR5 Reapdose S. And ito rin po yung gagamitin natin na RAM. So medyo bibihira pa po ang DDR5 sa ating market. Actually, as of now, okay, so is uh, hindi pa ano sobrang... Uh, Mabaga mga samples pa lang meron tayo. And this is the XMP 3.0 ready. Okay, so may mga RAMs po na hindi pa po XMP ready. And this one is the XMP ready. It's the, kumbaga, most likely ito na yung may release sa mga end users. Ripjo's S5. It is a 5200, yeah, 16 by 2. Alright, so sobrang taas nung frequency niya. That is something that we will expect talaga pagdating sa ano sa um, DDR5, CL40, mas mataas ang latency, and, uh, pero mas mataas ang frequency. Yun nga lang, uh, we will have a dedicated or a better video about that RAM soon. So, we have here the Ripjo's S5. I don't want to talk much about the RAM kasi I don't want to ano, say something that may lead to misinformation. It's better for me to... Ano, Uh, kung may mga ideas naman na tayo, may mga details naman na tayo, pero I want to have it first hand na experience talaga. Those research that we found uh, from other tech reviewers, of course, we did also some research. Pero of course, as a tech reviewer, 
uh, dapat kailangan magkaroon tayo ng sarili nating output. So, that is the thing na gusto kong i-share sa inyo. After 3 days, hopefully that will be done on or before November 4. So, November 4 po yung release ng mga benchmarks across uh, yeah, international and hopefully uh, we can cope up with all of the uh, motherboard brands. Pero rest assured, we have one with Asus. And uh, yeah, Intel Core i9-12900K. So keep posted mga kaibigan. Thank you for dropping by. Pasensya kung medyo natagalan. Yes, pero still, we are just one day late ba? One day late lang ba tayo? Kahapon yun, di ba? Okay, so that's it guys. Thank you so much. And for more videos about the Intel 1200 or 12th gen Alder Lake, keep posted. Feel free to subscribe and thank you so much.